my loves how are you guys doing good afternoon or good evening i think it's evening so good evening i uh, hope you guys are doing well hope you're having a lovely weekend because i'm filming this on a sunday hope you're having a lovely weekend so far and yeah a lovely month as well happy new month all of that yeah 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 so today like the title says i'm going to be bringing you guys my first luxury haul I've done like luxury unboxing here and there, but nothing serious, but I feel like this is going to be like a haul completely dedicated. I feel like this is going to be a haul completely dedicated to like luxury purchases, I guess. So those designer items, if you want to call it that. So, you know, earlier on in my vlog, I told you guys that I was selling some of my bags and I've been able to sell five of them. I was meant to sell eight in total, but I've sold five of them, but I'm, just, I'm waiting till I sell like all eight of them. So I could use the money to get some other bags. But for now, I just got some accessories here and there, like other accessories. I got some shoes, I got some sunglasses, and I got a scarf. And I got one bag. But the bag I got is not considered like proper, proper luxury. But I mean, it's a designer bag, I guess. <laughs> it's all waiting till I buy everything. Let me just show you guys the ones I've bought so far. Because I think you guys are going to love it. I mean, you guys have been requesting luxury videos. You guys want to see designer items, all of that. Especially if you're coming from my Instagram page. You want to be seeing what you're seeing there here. Yeah. <laughs> But like I told you guys, this year I really planned, I really like my plan or focus this year was not to spend my money on luxury items. So what I did was sell some of my bags. I felt like that was the most responsible thing to do, especially the way the economy is. I don't even know I'm giving this disclaimer, but I just feel like it's important to let you guys know so you don't fall into the category of thinking that life is the way it seems like. You know, people are suffering, looking forward to eat, and people are just spending money. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because it's affecting everybody. It's relative to everybody, but it's affecting everybody. So, like I said, I sold some bags. I've gotten some money here and there, and I got some things because, last, last, I like luxury stuff. I can't help it. It's just, it, it is what it is. Like, no matter how bad things are, you just have to work hard so you can make money to afford the lifestyle you're living, right? So, this is me doing my own. <laughs> so, let's just forget about this disclaimer, or let's just move past this disclaimer and just get right into what we're here for, right? Are you guys ready? Let's start. I just got one scarf, and the scarf I got was from Fendi. I got some of these things when I traveled to Houston, and I got some using a personal shopper, and I got some. Yeah, I think that's basically it. Personal shopper when I traveled, so it's just a mix of everything. This scarf, I got it when I went to Houston. I've always wanted this Fendi scarf. It was in a box, but obviously when you're coming back, you don't want to pack the box, so it won't take space from your um, from your luggage. So I just left it with the dust bag. So it comes in this dust bag, Fendi, and it's just their monogram scarf. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I don't know what they call it. They call it Zucker print, right? I'll confirm but yeah I think it's super print but it is just their FF logo scarf and it's just this medium sized scarf it's not like that mindy you know the way I told you guys about my Gucci hat I don't know if you guys remember the Gucci hat I talked about earlier that has like the monogram Gucci print I feel like when it comes to accessories they're a bit more classic than when you get plain like I wouldn't want to get like a plain Fendi scarf like what's the point but with this I can wear like a plain outfit and just tie this scarf on my head and it just changes the whole outfit or with this I can even like put it on my neck I can use it for a lot of things this is just I feel like that's the point of getting like accessories like this like scarves hats things like that like getting it in a monogram print like this so long as you don't wear it like you wear this you wear a shirt that's like this too where like <laughs> that's when it gets a bit tacky but if you wear this like with a plain cream or beige or even white shirt and you tie this on your head like it's good and it has this red i don't know if you guys can see but let me try and show you guys it has this red trimming around it i didn't like it at first i still don't i'm not really a big fan of it i wish it was like this brown like this dark brown trimming at the end because with this red it just feels like it's going to be a bit selective when you're dressing up but to be honest i, can't, I don't mind it's fine but yeah that's what it looks like so this is the first Thing I got from Fendi and I really love it. Let's see what it looks like. I'm not going to tie it fully But let me just give you guys like an idea of what I'm talking about Wow. <laughs> see not maybe not with <sighs> Deep on what I'm saying <laughs> I'm trying as much as possible, but you get it now Like you can even make it like into a turban like anything you want to make it into just like a cute scarf that you can dress up Dress down whatever you want to do with it. That's it. I don't know how else I'm going to explain to you guys of how much of an addiction I have with sunglasses because really I feel like on this channel, at least you guys know now, that I've not been able to do a haul or an unboxing without showing you at least one sunglasses. Like it's it's now a norm, it's like a normal thing. So I think we should just start getting used to it. Anytime I just say haul, 
especially if it's a fashion haul even if it's not fashion anyhow anyhow i'm gonna show you guys one sunglasses i don't know what it is but it has always been like this it's nothing new it has always been like this so let's just get used to it my sunglasses addict out there how are you guys how are you guys doing <laughs> i get you so yeah i have two pairs of sunglasses to show so let me show you the first one that i'm really excited about because i have wanted this for the... no, no no let me tell you guys the funny thing the first time the sunglasses came out i hated it with a passion like when i saw it online i was like yeah, they're going also. Like this people have come again. Like what? What are they making? I just felt like it looked razz. I don't know why. I just had that thing in my head. I was like, this this sunglasses look razz. Like why 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 are they making this? Like who is wearing this? Then trust the power of social media. It now was everywhere. Everywhere I turned out to this sunglasses. Everybody was wearing it. It was not looking cool. I I say if I don't buy these sunglasses, <laughs> it's just so funny. I was like, if I don't buy these sunglasses. And then I went to look for it, obviously, sold out. It was sold out for the longest time, everywhere you look for it, on the website, other websites. I'm like, ah, eh, okay. That now made me even want it more. You know when they say something is sold out, not available, out of stock, I'm like, eh? You just feel like rapture is taking place and, <laughs> and you're not getting it. So I just kept on being on the hunt for it and waiting for it to come back in. And as soon as it came back, I was like, get it! <laughs> so the glasses I'm talking about is from Balenciaga. And then they came in a box like this and it's not everybody's cup of tea to be honest i don't think everybody likes this style of sunglasses but for someone like me that is an ashaho for sunglasses i think i like almost every style of sunglasses but this is what they look like and obviously looking at it like this is very basic because you can get any glasses like this from any store like zara asos you can get from any store but what sold it or what is making it popular is this bb thing on the side if you guys can see it it has this bb logo thing I'm trying to make sure you guys are saying it so this bb stands for balenciaga this is what sold me with the sunglasses so and it's heavier obviously like i said you can get glasses like this from any store but the difference with this and the other ones you can get because i actually have a sunglasses like this like black small but this is heavier it has like a bit of weight to it so it's more substantial compared to the ones you get from the high street stores right so yeah i got the sunglasses let's see what they look like on and this is what they look like so let me give you guys the side view is this like i can finish this video like this what do you think can i finish this video like it is so cool like, like i said i never liked it but when it just got to me i was like now nah, i understand the height now i understand the boss this is what we're looking like love 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 okay so yeah this is the first one second one which is from fendi as well you guys know how much i love fendi i don't know if you guys know but yes i really do love the house of fendi whatever it's called i love fendi i love their bags i love their accessories i feel like they have great quality and actually since this their new creative director came in he just made everything so fresh you know fendi was almost like getting to grandma ish but just the same way they had for Bottega, everything just changed and it's now very new, very fresh. I think that's what he did. And he like very, like he changed everything. He's given us fresh designs, very new designs. And I'm just here for it. So yeah, the second sunglasses is from Fendi and it came in this box like this. I got this in Houston as well. The the bag, the case is so cool. I don't, I've not had any case like this before. It's like it's like a trash bag, <laughs> like a bean bag. It's so puffy and it's padded, so it's protecting the glasses inside. Like it's so padded and cute. And this is what it looks like. Let's bring out the sunglasses. These glasses are so cool. Like what? This is what they look like. Hopefully you guys are seeing it. So it has Fendi on the side, and this is what the front looks like. This is what the side looks like on the other side so it just has fendi written on the side and these glasses are just so cool so with these glasses they have different variations even with the other one they have different colors but i just got with the, got, I, just, I just got the black because i feel like the black is the most classic out of all of them but they had like proper transparency they had the one that was like iridescent like blue purple green different colors mixed together but i just felt like this was the best so this is like at first when i saw it on the website i thought it was like proper gold like mirrored sunglasses but it's not it's actually transparent like you can still see i don't know if you guys can see my face from there but that's how you put your face and it looks like it's mirrored but it's actually clear so i don't know how to explain it but that's what it looks like let me wear it it's 
is what it looks like on the side on the side and to be honest this is the first time i'm saying this and it's actually right because i say it a lot of times but i really don't have anything like this in my collection <laughs> i actually really don't have anything like this in my collection i promise this is the first time it's actually happening because this flat top like this like i might have something like transparent or gold or whatever but the shape I don't have any shape lights and i think that's what really made me want to get this particular one it's like straight here and the shape like this i love it and obviously the sides it's just so cool it's so futuristic it's so cool and i really love it that's basically it for the fendi ones yeah Ugh. and you guys know how much i am obsessed with anything gold and obviously these glasses everything is gold so like <laughs> it was just a no-brainer that's what they look like love 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 okay so time for shoes i'm sure this is like the fun part for you guys you guys love shoes i love shoes too <laughs> i love shoes so i got two pair of shoes two pairs two pairs of shoes two pair of shoes i got two shoes english you see english and this is going to deal with you anyways i got two shoes I, I got one heels and i got one flats i think i show you guys the flats first because the heels are prettier so let's show you the heel the flats first so Oh, Chanel Chanel this was my personal shopper because if you guys know about these flats or these sandals you guys will know how difficult it is because Chanel people are now moving mad and they're just making everything difficult to get and they won't start acting like Hermes and start making things exclusive and then it's out of stock waiting list who has time for that so basically it came back in stock I guess and the personal shopper was able to get it for me so yeah I have I wanted to lie and say I've not opened it before but because I was a bit anxious because I wasn't sure it was going to fit me because I've had reviews saying that you should get your size get a size bigger get different things and I've never, I don't have anything like this so I was worried when it came I was like let me even check and be sure it's my size probably here doing haul or doing unboxing I realized it's not my size and you guys see my disappointment on the camera so I actually checked it I've tried it and it was actually my size so let me not lie to you guys I've opened it before this, so this is not like um, an unboxing or a first <laughs> <laughs> a first time impression or whatever but i wrapped it back because i'm just i'm just gonna see like that and i just felt like you guys <laughs> i just felt like you guys should see what it looks like when it's all wrapped up so this is what it came like when they gave it to me all wrapped up like this right and it comes with this this is just the receipt and advice i can give you guys maybe not with every item but it's always cool or it's always nice when the personal shopper sends you your receipt as well with your um, luxury item i think it's something that it just gives you more peace of mind that okay it's not fake i guess <laughs> it's not fake and they got it from the original store yeah i think it's, it's nice sometimes when they give you your receipt all the time i don't know whatever it is but yeah unless you really trust your personal shopper and you're sure 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 i don't know but i just feel like if your personal shopper watching this it's just cool to add the receipts actually for luxury items for your customers just gives them peace of mind so yeah i have my receipts here from the store anyways so let's just get right into the unboxing so yeah we'll just if you guys <laughs> move the rope a mess <laughs> so this is what it looks like on the inside and it comes wrapped in its dust bags like this let's just take out one see i think i should give another disclaimer because this is really not everybody's cup of tea this style of sandals and to be honest it really wasn't my cup of tea for the longest time like i was like it does not even make sense like why would i want to spend my money paying for something that looks that ugly that was like that was my own argument i was like it just looks so ugly it doesn't even make sense why would i want to wear that on my feet like oh, 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 oh. for the longest time because this has been out for the longest time and i just didn't like the trend dad sandals yes <laughs> that's what i got i got the chanel dad sandals and i was like it doesn't even make sense why would i want to get like literally what they call dad sandals like what my dad would wear ugly looking but guys <laughs> social media <laughs> is the devil social media everybody and not just that they were wearing it but i started seeing reviews and i obviously started doing my research about it and everybody they were all saying the same thing which is what i had to just say do you know what i'm going to buy this sandals they were saying it was so comfortable god i love comfort like 
anything that's comfortable i'm going to buy it because i'm not the kind of person that likes wearing like heels all through and even if i get heels it has to be comfortable because i'm not even going to wear it for long because I, my feet they hurt me so fast so when i just always see people saying it's comfortable it's comfortable it's going to last it's durable duh, 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 duh. i was like say no more i'm going to buy it and as usual obviously when you go to buy it it's not available in your size it's not available out of stock duh, 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 for the longest time and when it became available personal shopper told me and i was like please get it for me and when i tried it i just I, I i get it i get the hype you know in this life you find things that you don't understand it's always like that like you just you you say oh, it doesn't make sense why though until it makes sense right and yeah it actually makes sense to me it is very comfortable i'm never going to lie and this is what they look like so these are the chanel dad sandals and this one is in the um caviar right caviar leather so it's not the i don't even think they have any do they have lamp let me not say what i don't know but i'm sure they have i know i've seen different types of it but these were the ones i really wanted because the leather is a bit more durable like it's the rough leather i don't want all these smooth leathers in fact i wanted to get the dior ones when they were forming this one was sold out because every brand as usual they all have their own version of it i wanted to get the dior ones but i think what made me not get it and thank god i didn't get it was because it was lambskin so it was like the soft those soft leathers i wanted to scratch and i mean it's the sandals so even just walking you might just scratch that you just be angry <laughs> so i thank god i waited for this to be available and i got this one and this is what they look like i'm a size 41 so all my shoes are 41 even when i get pregnant I know some people have that thing when they get pregnant their legs get bigger but thank god it doesn't happen to me when i'm pregnant my feet they swell up obviously when i'm done giving birth it goes back to its normal size so i've had my shoes some of my shoes for the longest time and it doesn't affect me when i get pregnant or when i give birth so i just got this in a 41 some people say get your a, a bigger size but i don't think you necessarily have to get a size bigger just get your regular size because I got my regular size and it still fits me and obviously it has the it has the velcro thing so you can always adjust it so you feel like it's tight here even here too like it's adjustable so i think that's why it's perfect to get your normal size because it's adjustable and this is big so before you know when you wear when you have sandals and especially if you wear them every time you're worried about it getting flat right but this is thick so by the time this thing even goes down it's going to you're definitely going to get your cost per wear with things like this because of how ugly it is you think that oh how would you even wear this thing but i promise you can wear this with dresses like they're even cuter with dresses i don't know but yeah <laughs> that's me marketing the sandals and yeah this is one of two <laughs> let's get into the second one and i recommend it for sure if you're wondering if i recommend it i recommend any form of that sandals i always say this every time it must not be a designer it must not be from chanel every brand i really think every brand has their own version fendi dior gucci and they're way cheaper hermes they all have their in fact hermes is even cheaper than chanel i think chanel is the most expensive version of it so any brand has it and obviously high street stores you can get any version of it but i just feel like this style of sandals which is the most important thing we're talking about this style it's very comfortable and i feel like it's something i would definitely want to add to my shoe collection so yeah that is it i'm already laughing because i feel like i'm going to explain myself because i'm addicted and i just can't get enough <laughs> the second oh lord jesus i was i was actually really skeptical showing you guys this this particular one because i feel like <laughs> you know that audio uh -uh. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> That's what she be playing as I'm unboxing this one because there's, I know we all know it's fine. We've accepted it. No, no problem. It might even probably be jazz somewhere. It's fine. But I'll explain to you guys why I always go back to this particular shoe and this particular brand. Amina. Amina. I mean, 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 I same thing with these shoes if you guys are wondering i wear a 41 most of my shoes to be honest i think i just have few shoes where i wear like a 41 and a half well most at least 90 percent of my shoes are 41 so it's just few 
that I have forty one and a half, and I purposely did that because I want a looser fit. But if I wanted my exact fit, I'll get a forty one. So in case you wonder my shoe sizes, UK forty one or the Italian forty one or size eight UK, size eight UK and what's the one? You guys understand? So forty one UK and eight. That's my size. That's always been my size for the longest time. So it never changed. I've always been a size eight. I've always been a size forty one. Anyways. Hmm. I'm not sure you guys are seeing it well. Let me just bring it out. Are you guys red saying? Are you red saying? <laughs> Bruh. Focus. These are the Amina Mohadi Begums, and this is an orange. Well, this particular color is just, it just makes sense. I don't know, is it focusing? See, I feel like it's washing away. You guys need to see like the color properly. Yes, yes. Uh, ooh. It just makes sense. It 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 just it just makes sense. That's what I can say. I've wanted. I'm not even going to do that. Let's just not do that. But I don't have any orange shoes. Like you guys, you, you guys always seen this shoe shoe. Like hopefully one of one of these people realize I don't have any orange shoes. Like literally no orange shoes. And I have a lot of orange or clothes with orange or just accessories with orange, like things where I'm like, ah, imagine if I had like an orange shoe. And then this came along and I was like, of course, ah, of course, like it just makes sense. Like there's nothing else I can say, but it just actually made sense. And I got them. So now <laughs> let me justify. I'm not justifying the orange or buying um, this particular pair. I'm justifying buying this particular style of shoes. <sighs> let me explain this thing to you guys. And I'm sure most people that have my problem would understand where I'm coming from. Let's start from the beginning. You guys are seeing this whole wall of shoes I have there. And to be honest, I have different types of shoes. Yeah, for different occasions. But it feels like I wear only these shoes. Like ever since these shoes came out, ever since I bought my first pair, it felt like I've been wearing it every time. Let me explain to you guys why I wear this. So let me I think I should get one other shoe to just compare it. Like let me get a Manolo Blanik and just compare the both of them so you guys understand where I'm coming from. Wait. This is another definition of a classic shoe. If you guys can see this is Manolo's. You guys know. You guys know this already. I just want to I just want to be sure it's focusing. You guys know these shoes and this is in a size this is actually 40 and a half i don't even know why i got it 40 and a half because i realized that some of their shoes actually run a bit big so this is a 40 and a half i've never worn it before so you can see from here never been worn but yeah this is what they look like right so let me explain to you guys this used to be my obsession like this kind of shoes because i felt like they were a bit comfortable to be honest like manolos are comfortable to an extent i'm not going to lie but the problem i had with manolos was number one at least with the type i i used to buy because they have the ones that are like this so with these shoes you see how there's space here and space at the back like it's not covered fully like this one see how this place is covered and covered on the side as well at the back these ones are not covered right not being covered like this gives my feet more room to breathe so I, I i usually don't consider myself like like someone that has wide feet i don't think i have wide feet but it's that thing of when you're wearing shoes like this your feet come like this like <laughs> just what i said you have to put your feet or your foot whatever it is you have to put it like this so this how your legs will be which means the longer your leg stays like this or your foot stays like this the tendency that they're going to get uncomfortable and start hurting you and before you know it you want to take the shoes off right so i'm not saying manolos don't have they have this style like where it's open but i just never bought them these were the types i was always buying so that is number one number two the heels manolo heels are just the regular pointed heels with the regular pointed heels you don't have balance so you just like like i said your leg your foot is really like this standing on this for someone like me that is not slim, <laughs> I'm not light. Do you understand? So that weight you're carrying with your foot like this, standing on something like this. Are you guys getting where I'm coming from? It is not comfortable. Do you understand? And like I said, this is not that bad. I can wear this for a couple of hours, but not that long, to be honest. And actually when I started getting pregnant and giving birth, obviously you get bigger, you get heavier. And like I said, my foot got swollen. So it just felt like a nightmare even fitting into things like this. 
so that's why i'm not saying i love this for sure i would wear this like <laughs> these are classic shoes like you can't even get rid of them i love them so much but ever since i got my first pair which were the black ones of this one and i tried it i was like comfort even when i was pregnant i could still wear it because like i said it has space on the side like this so your your foot is not like this it's like this like it's actually comfortable it's like relaxed number one number two the heels and this is the reason why i love amina mohadi as a brand like generally not just the style this particular style i love it because it's, i feel like it's the prettiest style like they have other types or different styles but i feel like this is the prettiest like with the the embellishment in front i just feel like it's very pretty and i would like to get other types but <laughs> for now these are the ones i've been gravitating towards but yes so but their heels they just make sense and i just think to myself like why can't other shoe brands make their heels like this actually like this should be the standard for heels i don't know is it just me because i feel like this makes sense some girls don't mind some women don't mind they wear heels that like pencil and it's comfortable for them but if you love comfort i feel like these kind of heels should be available for every brand like just in case because these make sense because it's not pencil this thing that comes out like this like a martini glass makes all the difference so this is comfortable it doesn't feel like my foot is hanging on something like this like it's actually almost like a platform because like see you know what i'm trying to say so <laughs> this is me justifying why i buy these shoes like i said i'd like to buy other shoes that are not maybe this particular style but i'll definitely get a heel like this i don't think i'll get any shoe again because i actually have one let me show you guys I don't know why I made that mistake. I don't even know what I was thinking. I got these shoes from Amina Mohadi as well. And I got the heels like this. Like, what, what was I thinking? Like, why would I go to Amina Mohadi and get heels like this? For someone that's looking for comfort. And I've worn this. I've worn this maybe like twice. But I promise you, it's uncomfortable. Because, I mean, this is what I'm running away from. But it's very cute. So, like, they're just cute sandals. It has, like, stones. If you guys can see the stones cute sandals and this is what they look like i love them because they are neutral colored and i've always wanted like something like this where you get someone to wear like a pair of sandals or meals or whatever but i just wanted something neutral so it can go with a lot of things that's why i got this ones but i didn't like i didn't think of the fact that i needed like those heels and i regretted it to be honest i actually regret this purchase but i wear it to places where i know that i'm not going to stand for long like knowing just maybe for dinner from your car enter the place sit down have a dinner come back to the car come back home that's why i wear things like this or like to take pictures but I don't wear this like practically to say I'm going somewhere for an event where I'll stand up. I'll just set myself up. But yeah, so that's what I'm trying to say. This, this, compared to this, like if I had this in these heels, ugh, these sandals, to have spot by now because I'll, I'll misuse it. Yeah, but basically size 41, in case you're wondering. Yes. Okay. So we're done with shoes. And like I said, I have just one bag. Maybe not considered like proper luxury, but... I mean it's going to be categorized under like designer bags i think but this bag is just so cute and so affordable i think that's why i bought it like it was so cheap cheap is relative compared to other designer bags like even compared to the jacquemus that we know that is considered cheap this was really cheap and i was like it, it made no sense not to buy it like it actually made no sense not to buy it like it's so cute like even if i feel like because it's a bit trendy now even if i feel like oh i'm not going to use it again like i won't regret it because it was just so cheap like it, it's fine it's cool like i leave it are you guys ready yes i got the coach bag <laughs> Like I told you guys, I've not really bought like the proper bags I want to buy with the money. I just saw this um at the mall when I was shopping. And when they told me the price, I was like, oh my god, it's so cute and so affordable. <laughs> Let me get it. And I feel like this color is so cute because I don't have any color like this. I actually don't have any color like this, like this nude beige color. And it goes even my shirt. <laughs> it's so cute. And this is the Coach Pillow Tabby bag. This is what it looks like. It's literally pillow tabby, like it's so pillow, pillowy. And it has like a longer strap as well. And you can open it like this this is the longer strap inside and they have so many colors so many cute colors but the only reason i got this one to be honest was because it had gold hardware the other ones had like gunmetal black silver and I'm, I'm a gold hardware kind of girl so i got this one with the gold hardware and i love it i can't wait to style it and this is the last item on this luxury purchase <laughs> i love it so cute hope you guys enjoyed this video 
and I can't wait to show you guys the second part of this luxury haul when I get everything sold and I buy like the proper bags you guys are looking for right <laughs> but yes I can't wait to show you guys that thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye